internet. I'm waiting for a bus to get into town because my Christmas present is finally arrived. <laughs> I tried to buy something for myself just for Christmas and the shop was still waiting for the shipment to arrive so I get it. so far because the foot itself was a couple hundred dollars so I didn't want to then spend another couple hundred on a full set of rulers so I just got a straight ruler for now it has a little bit of a curve to you, but uh, this is one of the Angela Walters it's the slim ruler from Angela Walters I thought getting a straight ruler was a good place to start because that's going to be the easiest to learn how to use and once I get the hang of that and decide whether I actually enjoy using it or not, then I can expand out and get some of the other shapes if I feel so inclined. So now I need to try it out. So I think what I'm going to do is I've got a, a lot of scrap 5 inch squares sitting around so I'm just going to throw some of them into like a mini quilt size and use that to do some practicing on. Yeah, you knew I couldn't make something really simple, didn't you? <laughs> it honestly was going to be just a few random 5 inch squares stuck together. But then I kind of liked how they looked together and I thought I could put a border on it and that turned into two borders. <laughs> but like now I've got something that if the quilting goes okay will be a really nice little wall hanging or table mat or something. And it has the added bonus that if I stick to the interior part for the ruler quilting then I don't need to worry about make sure I don't go into that quarter inch seam allowance for the binding so it's going to make this easier as well and now I get to play with the ruler foot okay so I'm not actually going to dive right into the quilting I want to do a quick test first this is just a scrap quilt sandwich I use for warming up and testing tension you can see it's already been quilted many many times now according to the instruction book, I need to use this dial to adjust the height so the foot is just resting on the fabric but not actually restricting its motion at all. I think that looks okay. Right, let's try quilting then. Okay, so the ruler's reasonably grippy, so in theory, I should be able to screw the fabric with the ruler. One thing I'm noticing already is that you can't have this 
many pins in it as I like to have. You actually have to have quite a bit, big area unpinned because the ruler, of course, if it sits on top of the pins, it's not going to be sitting flat. So I just had the thread break and I've also noticed I'm getting a lot of these sort of skip stitches where I'm getting big tangles on the back and I think there was something in the instruction book that said skip stitches might be caused if you've got the foot down a bit too low so I might try raising the foot a notch and trying again but first of all I'm going to tidy up some of these messy thread tangles and try and bury the threads in the back so it doesn't look so bad. I'm finding there's certain angles where I'm not keeping the pressure of the ruler onto the foot properly and I'm just kind of like directing it myself without actually following the ruler but on the other angles I'm it's working okay. I'm I'm really pleased and like I'm getting nice straight lines out of it. So yeah, I'm just kind of doing sort of connecting up dots and kind of diamondy kitey type shapes and just we'll see where it ends up. Here's where I've got to with it so far. It's been a little bit frustrating. I haven't got the smoothness that I have learnt with free motion quilting down yet so like you can see there quite clearly that my stitch length is all over the place I'm just not moving as smoothly because I'm having to think a bit more about holding the ruler and keeping the foot up against the ruler things like that so it's just a learning process I think so my original plan was to you know do some dot to dot quilting with the ruler and then maybe move into free motion around it but I think I actually need to do a lot more practice with the ruler so I'm thinking what I might do is in some of these bigger areas just do lots of little lines which normally I would just do free motion quilting but I'm going to actually use the ruler and just practice trying to get my stitch length good and moving smoothly and turning smoothly, those sorts of things. Okay, I'm starting to feel like I'm getting the hang of this. My stitches are getting a little bit more even now than they were and I'm feeling like straight lines is something I can manage. So, time to get a bit more ambitious and use the curved end for something. I don't know exactly what yet, but I'm sort of thinking maybe doing some curves around the edge in the borders. Well, it's not perfect, but I think it's reasonably effective. This ruler quilting thing is quite fun, actually. And there's the finished quilt. Not bad for something that was just supposed to be a test piece. I'm definitely not an expert at the ruler yet, but I'm slowly getting the hang of it. I've ordered a couple of curved rulers so I can have a go at those next. Yeah, this is pretty typical. Trying to run before I can walk. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed joining me on this little adventure. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. Are you a ruler foot expert? Any hints and tips you can give me? Take it down, no internet. Mm -hmm.